At 5.45 p.m., a local Butler County Emergency Services Unit counter-sniper team member texted the Secret Service counter-sniper team leader about a suspicious person and sent two photos of the individual later identified as the assailant. As the assailant. At 5.53 p.m., the Secret Service counter-sniper team leader texted the Secret Service counter-sniper teams that local law enforcement was looking for a suspicious individual outside of the perimeter lurking around the AGR building. At this time, Secret Service personnel were operating with the knowledge that local law enforcement was working on an issue of a suspicious individual. The concept of local law enforcement working on such issues is common at sites. And on July 13th, there were over 100 calls for support. At 6 p.m., former President Trump took the stage to begin remarks. And based on what I know right now, neither the Secret Service counter sniper teams nor members of the former president's security detail had any knowledge that there was a man on the roof of the AGR building with a firearm. It is my understanding that personnel were not aware the assailant had a firearm until they heard gunshots. At 6.11 p.m., a member of the former President Trump's protective detail contacted their Pittsburgh field office counterpart to inquire about the radio update that there was an issue local law enforcement was looking into near the perimeter. At 6.11 p.m., the assailant's first volley of three shots was fired, and within three seconds, the former president's detail rushed the stage and covered former President Trump, shielding him with their own bodies. The four through eight shots took place over the next several seconds. Fifteen and a half seconds after the assailant's first shot, a Secret Service counter-sniper fired a single round that neutralized the assailant.